Isang magandang Webes sa inyong lahat. February 17, 2022. At uh, welcome po sa edisyon na ito ng The Stock Market Today. If uh, this is your first time in this channel, ako po si Benji Chidoro, isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market noong 2007. And I do this report every day which I started August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. Kung gusto niyo po ng content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Kung meron po kayong stocks na gustong ipareview using technical analysis, pakicomment lang po sa comment box at aking ipaprioritize. Ang ating financial news ay tungkol sa Siri. At ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, February 17, 2022, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. So let's go to our main news. Kanina po ay tinitingnan ko po yung movement ng Sirit pero wala po ako makita. Yung pala ay eto nangyari, no? Sirit moves debut after voluminous transactions. Citicor Energy REIT or Sirit deferred its listing in the Philippine Stock Exchange due to voluminous transactions arising from the huge number of retail and individual investors. Actually may message ko yung aking uh, broker at sabi ko, oh, meron ba transaction ng Sirit? Kasi alam ko is listing date today. Yung pala, minove. In a statement on Wednesday, the company said the strong investor demand for the 6.4 billion initial public offering of the country's first energy-focused real estate investment trust slowed its processing time. Sirit's market debut was initially scheduled on February 17 today. Yet, it has yet to confirm a new listing date as of press time. The company said all shares allotted for its institutional trading participants and local small investors tranches were oversubscribed. Totoo po yan. Kasi po nagsubscribe po ko dito, yung total shares po nakat ng halos um, a little over 50%. So, yun po ang nangyari at uh, nag-slow down daw in as much as the underwriters wanted to accommodate all interested investors, strong orders for Sirit IPO from local and international institutions and more than 5,000 retail investors simply outnumbered the total shares offered to the public. Unicapital Inc. First Vice President for Corporate Finance, Pamela Luis Victoriano said. Sirit said, The local small investors tranche of the offer was oversubscribed by 124.09%. The company received a demand of 270.745 million shares for 218.182 million shares allocated for the LSI. For LSI investors who were not able to participate in country's first energy REIT, or received partial allocations, rest assured that refunds for those who placed and paid for their orders but were not allocated are being properly processed by the underwriters and receiving agent. Sirit sold 2.509 billion shares for 2.55 apiece. Based on the projected earnings, the company is expected to have a dividend yield of 7% in 2022 and 7.4 in 2023. The company said it's looking to implement a dividend payoff of at least 95% of this distributable income for the preceding year. So that's our news for the day. And uh, medyo surprise po sa akin na pagka na move, you know, na move yung debut. And uh, Nung nakita ko nga yung allocation na binigay sa amin ni Mrs. Kasi may LSI po ako. May LSI account din po siya. Cut po. 50%. More than 50% cut. Oh. Grabe ang uh, demand dito sa stock na ito. Anyway, 
Yun po, no? Yun po ang ating news. And then we also have news, the headlines, tingnan po natin, ano? Yung Metro Pacific po, unit starts construction of uh, 2.7 billion toll road in Indonesia. So, so we'll take a look at NPI later. Cebu Pacific increasing international flights. So let's take a look at Seb. And then Jollibee to launch Edinburgh Glasgow stores. Tingnan din natin si JFC. SM Supermall sees full recovery by 2023. So tingnan natin mamaya si SMPH. Then Medeline says profit growth at record 50% due to shift in products. So tingnan natin si Medic later on. So yan po ang ating financial headline. But before we go to that, may, may I share with you another important piece of news yesterday for Metro Pacific. Ito po yung disclosure sa PSE ni Metro Pacific. Approval of MPI share buyback program. Okay, basahin ko lang po. No? On February 16, yesterday, the MPI Board of Directors approved the implementation of a buyback share program of up to 5 billion pesos commencing on February 17 today until the utilization of the aforementioned amount or as many as or as may otherwise be determined by the board. The purpose of the share buyback program is uh, to enhance and improve shareholder value and to manifest confidence in the company's value and prospects through repurchase of common shares. Consequently, the company's buyback transactions will be triggered in the cases where the company's stock is deemed to be substantially undervalued, two, when the shares or when there is high volatility in share prices, or other instance where the buyback program would serve to enhance or improve shareholder value. Hindi lang niya sinabing undervalued, pero based on the analysts that uh, we have, you know, an analysis on the stock, the stock is so much undervalued. And in fact, kung titignan po natin ang valuation ni JFC, ay wala po ako dito, but uh, at JFC or MPI, it is undervalued by as much as 60, more than 60%. No? Ang tunay na presyo po niya is 6.6. .6, eh. Pero hindi lang niya sinabi, no? Hindi lang niya sinabi na undervalued. But that is, I think, the reason for aside from uh, to improve shareholder value that is the reason kung bakit binibili yung mga shares very cheap po siya so mamaya tingnan po natin si MPI okay so before we get to that let me check if we have uh, comments from our subscribers I think I took a look at this earlier welcome new subscriber Cruz Almario welcome po uh, Ricardo Atilano Jr. commented, Thanks, Idol. Naku po, marami po salamat, Idol Rick. New subscriber, welcome. Magsime Magsumbol. Welcome po. Okay, so that's it. So those are the comments of our dear subscribers. And now let's go to the Philippine Stock Exchange and the Philippine Stock Exchange Index on how it performed today. Okay, so let's put up our indicators. The PSEI lost 13.89 points or 0.19% down to finish at 7438.93. And the uh, red candle today is higher or opened at 7455 but ended lower at 1389. It's just about resistance level. Yung ating market summary naman, um, 107 companies advanced, 77 declined, while 56 remained unchanged. The All Share Index advanced 0.10% or almost flat at 3.77 points. So pwede po mangyari yun, yung lahat ng shares po ay tumaas, pero very slight lang po, pero yung index po ay bumaba. Yung sectoral indices naman po ended mixed. Yung industrials, mining, and services were up while the finance, the financials, holding companies, and services were down. So we will be reviewing the 
most active stocks we will be reviewing the stocks which figured in the news no so we'll be taking a look at mpi gfc then we have converge smph is the most active stock and then cebu pacific tingnan natin si cebu pacific and medic no, meron siyang magandang profit report today or um, in the news okay so let's start with metro pacific the most undervalued stock in the index wow nangyari dito ang taas ng candlestick ha? at meron siyang gap it po yung gap niya yan po ang gap ni metro pacific and it opened higher at 3.82 reached a high of 3.91 but nag profit taking po ang uh, ang stock or ang mga traders kaya nag settle po siya at 3.88 or a 5.15% up or uh, in the green ano so kung titingnan po natin ay almost sideways lang po ang movement and Technically, ang pinaka nearest resistance po niyan ay nasa 4 pesos. Dito po. At ang pinaka malapit na support, actually, na-breach niya po yung support and yung second support level ay nandito po sa 3.64, no? But uh, the other day, noong um, February 15, it went as low or it closed at 3.60 with the lowest, yun, yung pinaka lowest niya is 3.60 on February 15. So, if you were able to buy at a closing price and sold it today, kumita po kayo dyan. Anyway, that's that's uh, hindsight. But, ganun po ang movement ng stock, ano? Fina-follow lang niya yung support and resistance. Dahil, pagka bumaba po yan, hindi po tayo kabado dahil maganda po yung fundamentals ng stock. Okay, so after Metro Pacific, tingnan naman natin si JFC. Si JFC po ay nag expand Yan, JFC is still moving up and it ended at 252 today. But kung titingnan po natin, ang pinaka-support po niya, near support, ay nandito po. No? So kung Noong uh, January 3 ay bumili po tayo o December 31 ay nasa closing price niya is 215. Ngayon ay 252. Tingnan natin yung upside niya from this point. Ha? So halimbawa bumili po kayo dito. So that would be an 18.34% increase in the price. And if you bought at that uh, price then kumita na po kayo ng 18.34% or without the commissions and the taxes siguro mga 18 or 17% po ang kinita natin dyan anyway that's that's hindsight but it has reached support and now it's approaching resistance so, nandito po yung resistance dyan sa so, 257 but let's do a one week chart 256 or 257 ang kanyang pinaka resistance level based on the one week chart yung uh, one week na yan natutunan ko po yan kay Miss JD <laughs> nakakuha din ako ng uh, learning sa kanya okay then converge si converge naman uy meron siyang bounce ha? and dito ang pinaka nearest actually the, the support level is here and which goes back August 2021, ano? yung historical niya. So, nasa 2634, but it had its, its, its one of its lowest on February 15, where it closed at, the closing price niya is 2550. The next day it bounced, and right now it's at 2850. So, significant po yung kanyang increase, ano? And probably, it, this is because of the news that he has this uh, contract with uh, Elon Musk no yung uh, tungkol sa broadband no broadband satellite satellite broadband na uh, negosyo ni Elon Musk he was able to get some of that business no so yan po si converge uh, yan po yung support ang pinaka resistance po eto po eh nasa 32 
233 pesos po ang pinaka resistance niya. Ang support is 26.34. So, support and resistance, hindi po yan exact points. It areas po yan. And then, SMPH, the most active stock. Okay. Nag-decline ngayon si SMPH by 50 centavos or 1.30%. But, the closing price is, well, the closing price is about the closing price of February 14, ano? Kasi nag-close po siya nung uh, at 38 pesos. Pero now, it closed also at 38 pesos. No? But it opened at a higher, no? At a higher level. So, most probably po ay profit-taking lang po ito. But our relative strength index is still a, at a high 60.21. Also, our short, medium, and long-term indicators are under the candlestick which would indicate a bullish trend. Yan po si SMPH kasi po nag open na po ang economy natin and the news is that uh, we may revert to alert level 1. So, ang tabayan lang po natin ng announcement dyan. No? Pero, yan po ang uh, news kaya po si SMPH ay bullish po yung kanyang trend. Okay? In the meantime, ang kanyang Okay, the 52-week high is 42.05 kailan dyan na achieve yun. I think this is already this is already at resistance level. Yan. Yan po siya. 38 to 39 po ang pinaka-resistance. Eh. Or 38 to 40 ang pinaka-resistance po ni SMPH. Okay, as after after SMPH, Cebu Pacific. Kamusta yung airline? Naku, nagbabound si Cebu Pacific, ha? Yesterday, it had an engulfing green candlestick. And it gained 3.49% yesterday. But there was no volume, no? But today, there is another green candlestick with volume. And there is a, also a gap up. No, ito po yung gap niya. Yan po. Yan. Yan po pinaka-gap. Meaning po, yung closing price yesterday or yung opening price today is higher than the closing price yesterday. And it never went down. It shot up. At uh, naging 4.13% or closed at 47.90, opened at 46.50. So, yung gap na yan, sabi ng mga traders, will have to be filled in the near future but the good news is that there is volume today which means that this is a breakout and this is the highest level your closing price niya of 47.90 is the highest since november 26 2021 Tagal na, no? Kaya breakout po ito so antabayan po natin ang mangyayari dito sa breakout ni Cebu pacific RSI is at 68. Normally, what happens in a breakout is that maaring magkaroon po ito ng continuation, meaning the following day ay tataas pa rin siya or baka mag-profit taking for one or for several days before it uh, continues to move up. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng breakout with continuation. Pagka nagkaroon po ng consolidation po yan o nagkaroon po ng pullback, I after a few days I normally po ay tumataas po yung stock. Uh, it happens most of the time but not all the time. Okay. So after Cebu Pacific, tignan naman natin si Medic. Yan, may, tumaas si Medic with volume. It's not only an, a green engulfing candlestick, this is also a breakout, huh? And this is the highest since January 19. So it's more than 2 weeks already or about a month no? and I would say this is a breakout kasi yung previous resistance niya the 109 tumaas siya, it, it broke the uh, resistance level and it's now at 114 pero malayo pa rin siya dun sa kanyang IPO price ha? yung IPO price has nasa 2 pesos I think or 215 I cannot anymore recall no? but yun po yung IPO price niya medyo mataas 
think sleeping na natin yung IPO nito. I think I have some data on that. Tingnan natin si Medic. Medic. Okay, IPO price niya is 2 pesos 30 centavos. So, malaya pa rin niya, no? Malaya pa rin siya sa IPO price niya dito. And uh, right now, yan, yan po yung previous uh, support niya. And or previous resistance while the support is just a narrow 99 centavos. 10 centavos lang po yung diferensya niyan. Okay? So, ngayon po ay abangan po natin dito si Medic kung tuloy-tuloy po yung kanyang recovery dahil meron naman pong above average volume ito. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market February 17, 2022. Ito po si Benji Chidoro, nagpapaalala, mag-ingat sa COVID, mag-ingat sa scam, and investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay at hanggang sa muli. Stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.